it's a great challenge no? in today's time we need to be realistic mm. I think in those days uh, we only worry about uh, material financial needs but today the building a family has lots of challenges because of uh, urban setting modernization and so the both couples, uh, husband and wife, they are working and so the, there are higher demands on our children as well. Uh, competition is uh, very tight and so and plus on top of that with all the what we call modern values in the world, materialism, consumerism and uh, we have things like relativism so it's extremely difficult and that is the reason why we don't have a solution as such i mean the solution of course is christ ultimately but i think the question is uh, we need again to bring the family together i think everything starts in the family um, the parents they are first educators actually of the children's faith so if our family uh, were to be really united uh, values uh, to be inculcated it depends on the parents mm. so that is the reason why back to square one how many of our parents have a deep faith in Christ if their parents have no faith hardly read the gospel hardly pray what kind of values are they doing give to the children if husband and wife are not deeply rooted in Christ together they don't pray together how are they going to be united with each other how are they going to strengthen their marriage bond? So they are all interconnected. And uh, this is where I think uh, uh, there are many areas, you know, when we deal with the family. It's not just only family per se, because it's connected with faith. Uh, family is a special area, huh? one area. But then it's connected to faith. So faith formation so comes in, you know. Uh, how do we strengthen the faith? First, the faith. If there is no faith, what Catholic family are we talking about? They just have been Catholics who happens to uh, families who happen to be Catholic, but they are not Catholic families. So first and foremost, they need to have the faith. So that is again comes under the whole is for everybody. Everybody needs to be re-evangelized and counted Jews. Once that is done, then this is where we provide specific support for the family. This is where all the, the Family Life Commission and all the other organizations, whether it's Marriage Encounter, Engage Encounter, Couples for Christ, and all these other programs, they are meant to help. So, uh, so different people, uh, different couples, different age, different years of marriage will need different kind of support. And so at the end of the day, it's a question of support. Right. Support on the level, again, building communities. So many couples, they come together to share their faith, to share their marriage life and their family life together. That is one way. But on top of that, of course, they need their programs. Right. Uh, so this is where the Family Life Commission as a body uh, can harness uh, all the facilities, resources together to have programs that are suitable, common to all groups. And so this is where, again, we need to empower the Family Life Commission. But I can say that it's a challenging task but uh, on the other hand, let us be clear, huh? there is no need for us to condemn what is happening in the world. Huh? We should not be uh, uh, negative and condemn the world, you know, increasing number of divorces, same-sex union and all these things. We must understand the situation. Who is responsible? We are responsible. Because why? Because our Catholic families, our married couples, they are not showing good examples. They are fighting, they are quarrelling, they are divorced, they are dysfunctional children. If we come from a broken, fragmented family, do we want to get married later on? Do we believe in everlasting love? Do we believe in faithful love when they see their parents unfaithful in their relationships? So we can't blame people who have given up on marriage institution, who have given up trust that the family can work, they cohabit or whatever it is. So don't curse the darkness. Huh? We just have to light the candle. So for me, 
the winning way to change the situation in the world is to promote family life and we have good examples of Catholic couples and Catholic families that can inspire others that it is possible, it's not impossible. If we uh, project the joy of a family life, then of course all the other problems will be resolved. Mm. So the, I think we should not be on the uh, offensive, uh, we should be proactive uh, in our approach to family life. Right.